This video is going to look at the trinary switch, but before you do, I'm going to circle over on the right hand side here. If you haven't already done so, go watch the binary switch video and the condenser fan and switch video. There's a lot of similarity between the two and that's the base for what's going to happen in this video. Our trinary switch combines a binary and condenser fan switch in one body. So I've still got that low and high pressure protection of the binary, but I've also got a third switch, a third set of contacts in there for the condenser fan. Typically it's going to mount on the high side, could be used with a CCOT or TXV as an all-in-one protection and condenser fan control. If we look down at the picture, I've actually got two sets of spades here. One set is the high-low protection for the compressor. The other set is the condenser fan in and out for the control. So to start with, we've got the binary switch portion here. And what I've done is actually cut away the right-hand side of it. We've still got the low-pressure contact that closes at about 15 PSI and anything below that it's going to open and we've got the high pressure contact that'll do its job and go open above 270. However, with the trinary switch, what we get now is condenser fan control. And this is what we call the mid-range pressure. Now, mid-range pressure is somewhere around the 200 to 230 PSI is when we want the fan to come on. And I want you to realize the fan control portion of a trinary, they come in normally open and normally closed. This version, if you have a look, is a normally open fan contact that closes at that 200 to 230 PSI. Again, all of it wrapped up in one switch body. Here's the other version we're going to show you. Again, exactly the same binary portion with the low and high pressure contacts. However, what we have now is a mid-range section. And the difference being, this version is shown as normally closed fan contact. If you notice here, the contacts are closed. And when the pressure builds up high enough on the diaphragm, the contact will go open. So in summary, what the trinary switch gives us is a compact, convenient package that gives us a lot of protection as far as high and low pressures and also gives us the control of that condenser fan. It comes in a normally open and normally closed fan, so make sure you're putting the right part number on when you install a new switch. And we mount that thing on the high side of a CCOT or a TXV system. Either way, it'll work fine. And it'll give us the majority of the protections that we're going to need. Once again, when the switch is mounted on the high side, it cannot detect a low charge. So if you want protection from a low charge, you're going to have to have some sort of a low pressure switch on the low side of the system, as per the low pressure switch videos.